All right. So I've been wondering on what team I should make, especially when I'm using like level 100 characters. And I think Mono takes the cake. As I've been really enjoying Mono, even though she was one of those characters that most people skipped, especially because a lot of people was preparing for like collabs, anniversary, and some of those type of banners. So I want to level 100 her on this disgusting team because if you don't know, Fast Gopta got his relic. His relic is, looks amazing. Probably one of the better relics. Especially because he increases all allies' attack rate stats by 25% if you get max ultimate gauge on Gother, which means it's pretty easy to do that because you don't really have to keep having max ultimate gauge. You just have to hit it. So if somehow like they get a dissolve on you and you're so close to getting five, you're gonna hit that max ult ultimate and you're gonna get 25% attack rate stats. You don't need your ultimate to do so. And you got, also got Bond in the back as well for the increase in 10% 10, 10 attack rate stats. He's also on an anniversary. Uh, I gotta get one more dupe of him. So hopefully I do get that once I finish up the rotation. But again, hope you guys enjoy. And yeah, guys, let's have some fun. All right, so either you're listening to this and it's probably cause I'm either don't have no content to produce or I'm a little bit bored. So I thought it'd be fun to pretty much tell a little bit of a story now. I usually done these stories before, like I had one story where I was talking about uh, my love for goth when I was younger. I had one about my Uber driver pretty much being a millionaire back in the day. So we we'll back with another type of type of video like that, where I'm pretty much gonna be talking uh, a story or just random thoughts through the gameplay of whatever footage is gonna be available. But yeah, so I'm gonna have to tell you guys a story now. This story, it's a, I guess it was a pretty interesting one. I wouldn't say it's like pretty deep. Now I want to forewarn a lot of people. All right, I, I I speak in ebonics. All right, so the way I speak is not proper English most of the time. Sometimes I may repeat words, which is unfortunate because I be seeing a lot of people who troll a lot when that happens. All right, I be seeing people who be like, "Yo, take a shot every time." Really says like. And then someone be under the comment be like, yo, I'm two minutes in, I'm already drunk. Yo, that's gonna be so funny. But <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna try my best. All right. Again, I'm I, I speak in ebonics, so it's it's very hard to make proper English sometimes. Now, and the crazy thing about it is when I was in school, like high school and stuff, I was in honors English. All right, I was in honors. See, you see, the way for me is that my public speak is kind of awful. But if you put a pen and paper in front of me, all right, I'm like Shakespeare. All right, I'm Shakespeare with a pen. So again, my public speak is terrible. So again, if I speak in ebonics, uh, uh, my bad. All right, don't don't troll me in the comments about the, the uses of the word like, all right, that I use. Sometimes it'd be like that. But again, all right, so we're going to be talking about a story now. I guess the, the, the title I wanted to say to, about this story is that it's probably gonna be called um, Ghost, the Ghosting. Now, if you don't know what may Ghosting be, um, it's pretty much slang in terms of like, I don't know if it's American people or non American people know this, but in America, Ghosting pretty much means uh, you, you talk to somebody and then they randomly block you or ignore your messages or calls um, that you had good relationships with. So it could be like, I don't know, imagine you just talking to a girl, um, y'all, y'all hit it off. It was good. Great. Y'all just had a date. And then the next day she does, you, you talk, you try to text her and then she doesn't respond. You try to call her, it says number unavailable or something like that. It's it just you ghosting all right? you 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 poof vanish. So this is a story that I personally had, I think about what a year or two years ago. Um, it was kind of a little bit sad, depressing that it starts off with because this was like the time when pretty much I was like uh, heartbroken because me and my longtime girlfriend, we pretty much uh, broke up, of course. And it was pretty much sad and depressing at that time because I, this again, this was a long term relationship. All right. When you have a long term relationship and for me, I'm like the type of person who throws everything in the, in the table. Like, like if this was gambling or poker, I'm throwing all my chips through the table and I pretty much lost it all. 
And when you have the moments where you just lost it all, you just become very, you become very depressed, very sad. Like, and that's the thing with sometimes when you're doing like long-term breakups and stuff, because you just have all these negative thoughts about yourself. Like it was just times where I just think like, maybe I'm just a problem. Maybe I'm just, I just don't look good. Or maybe I'm just not as great as I should be. Like it just like, you just be so negative about yourself. You're just depressed. Like I was just moments where it was just like when I'm just on scrolling through Facebook or, you know, social media and stuff, trying to get over it. And then I look at her like randomly cause you know, your friends and then my heart just like sinks. Like, you know, it just, it's just like suffocating feeling when you just go through a long-term relationship and you just break up where you just feel like, yo, everything is hopeless. I am just, I'm negative or uh, everything is just, it's just like everything over your life is over. And sometimes it don't really actually be over. You just be in the moment because you're just sad and stuff like that. But with me, it was just, it was just heartbreaking. And this is the time where I was actually doing YouTube still. Like I was like low subscriber count. I think like maybe 3K, 5K maybe. But I didn't really like show it or anything like that because I don't want my videos to show my emotions. So I usually had did like um, videos to pretty much ignore the fact that I was like heartbroken you know you, you just want to get things off your mind like you just want to do things you want to um you know just get off your phone and stuff like that it just thinks that just get you off your mind off the situation it was like some situation where I was just talking to my friends and um dang what was I talking to yeah just my friends and they just a soul be like yo man you do it you did the best you could you're an amazing person and they just make me all good because you know most of my friends are like female friends like in real in real, in real life I obviously i have like guy friends like online and stuff but in like in real life like my female i have mostly like female friends and stuff so you know they are i don't know it's just like with the opposite sex it's just it's just like you're better talking to them i don't know what it is it's just a weird thing where you just have a better conversation with the opposite sex that's just for me though so for me, I just pretty much was trying to get my mind off the situation. And again, as I, I said before, some of the situations where I'm trying to get off of the, of the thought of it, because you know, it was very, uh, very depressing. It's either like working or trying to have somebody to talk to. And then finding that me trying to have somebody to talk to, um, I just went to like different type of, uh, social media sites or like these how to add friends and stuff on these sites like Instagram or Snapchat and stuff and I I did have I did meet a lot of other people like females to talk to it was actually pretty nice you know just people just to like just get your mind off it now you gotta think all right well, really what why did you do it you should be like going outside with me I'm, I'm kind of like an introvert like I just don't like you wanna, I need to touch some grass. All right. I know I need to touch grass. I'm just an introvert, but with me, it's kind of weird because it's like, I don't know what to describe. I don't know if it's a word for it, but I'm an introvert. But if I get to know you, then I become the most goofiest extrovert. Like you'll be like, yo, really stop talking. But if you don't know me, like, I'm just not going to talk to you. I'm just going to be silent and quiet. Uh, I'm not even going to try to attempt to talk to you. But if you get to know me, it is, I'm just far. Right? I'm just far. But so I'm doing all these things, just making sure I'm trying to get my mind off the situation. And one day, all right, <clears throat> one day again. And also I want to also explain like, you know, with me, I'm, I like the online aspect because, you know, back in my day, you know, I'm 23 right now. All right. The thing like I used to love back in the day is these two social media that was popping early in the days. I think it was like high school or maybe what was it? Yeah, high school or middle school. It was these two apps called Kick and Uvu. I'm telling you right now, if you're OG, you know those are the most far sites back in those days. All right, because Uvu was like FaceTime and Kick was just like a social media site before all these you know Snapchatting and you know, all that good stuff. It was like the it was like the cool cool Facebook. All right, it was the cool Facebook. But I was like really like looking at people's profiles and stuff like that. But Ick and Ubu, it was just godly back then. Like I met so many cool people, and it was like this one update on Kick, bro. I 
kid you know it was this one update it was like i think it was called like match and chat and stuff like that where you could just like swipe left swipe right people you want to match with and i kid you not bro i was swimming i was swimming with the females all right i, I don't know what it, like i was like introverts back then i was not cool. I, I wouldn't say I was, I was cool either i was not a cool person i was a nerd but on that app you would think i was the coolest person on there all right you would thought tuh, i was like a whole jocker anything like that the way i would just 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 swagging up i would just i was just saucy all right i was just saucy on there but <clears throat> that's just um, with me like you know you just have like this online experience through like kicking uru like you know like who's a fake who's um uh you know how to like speak to people especially online because what online is like yo i can do almost anything you know it's like you can you, it's like a whole veil because you're far away they know you're far away you can do what you want to do you can it's like another layer of yourself just peering out of nowhere another person now it's a, like another me but i'm online another me like sometimes in my video i'd be like sometimes quiet and uh, calm and rational some people be thinking i'll be doing drugs and stuff when i don't and in moments like when i'm playing on live stream that's when i have my whole personally personality just light up where i'm just dancing i'm going crazy i'm yelling like you know it just things with me like it depends on like the situation where i can have like a flip of switch where i'm going from calm and i'll uh, relax to i'm going crazy like you know it's just one of those things this is me like you gotta i gotta warm myself up to do that right because you know i can be a goofy funny person if i want to but i can also be a very calm rational and understanding person at the same time you know but back to the story all right back to the story so i'm on the snapshot right because you know i had added people from like these friend thing sites where you add people from on snapchat you get people to add you on instagram all that good stuff so i'm on snapchat right i've already added some people um some people I already talked to and stuff and i made this post all right it was like some sort of like anime shield type of post and this one is this one girl she commented on there she's like oh yeah that sound i think she said like oh yeah that sound that sounds nice and I'm like, oh, I was like, oh, word. Like, you know, I'm saucy. I'm trying to prepare the sauce, you know, just mixing it in the bowl. You know, I'm like, I'm like, oh, uh, I'm like, oh, word. That, that sounds nice to you. And then I'm just sweetening it in. Then I'm eventually like introducing myself, saying my name and stuff. I'm saying like, yo, where are you from? You know, you got through the usual, like, you know, name, location, age. You feel me? It's just basic online stuff when you're trying to sauce of a girl. And she's telling me like, yo, I'm from France. I'm like, what? Friends? You feel me? I'm just like, friends? Because I'm from America and friends, it has like a huge time difference. I'm like, what? And, and you know, I'm just asking for these pictures and stuff like that. And then I've noticed one of her pictures that she sent me, I see, I see on her wall. All right. It was this big, gigantic poster and it showed Kirito on there. I'm like, oh, you watch Sword Art online? She's like, yeah, I like that. I like that. I was like, oh, so what other animes do you like? Because when I see the anime, I'm like, hmm. Because you got to understand. Sometimes, you know, girls like to get away with, like, animes and stuff, you know, because, you know, they have, like, brothers. So, you know, they know the basic stuff. They know they know the Naruto, the, the Dragon Ball. But when you venture off against the other ones that, that, that isn't, like, the main big three, that's when you know you might have a, a real interested anime person and with anime girls you know i'm not gonna lie that's like a plus all right you know i talked about the goths that the and emo people and that's another plus all right the um anime loving females because back in my day where i kid you know i don't know what it is maybe because the online presence like me like venture out online so there's like more variety out there but i kid you not at my school I, females did not like anime i'm not gonna lie female like when you just suck when you just now anime is just cool now again like i don't know what changed but anime is now cool I, people used to get picked on like you just come out you come come to school with your Yu Gi Oh cards your pokemon card and people nowadays they just love it all right they they know they know all the freaking naruto dragon ball uh, uh, uh my hero academia black clover now they just know huh 
back in my day, we would just get bullied about knowing that stuff. It's crazy. It's crazy. But back to my story. So I'm just trying to figure out what type of anime she is watching stuff. So it's something that, like basic stuff like Attack on Titan. Then some other um, things that I didn't even know that were anime, which piqued my interest because again, if you're not doing the basic, like she was giving me a whole freaking list. If you're not giving the basic big three, like One Piece, uh, Dragon Ball, uh, uh, Naruto, Bleach, uh, Inuasha, something like crazy, you piqued my interest. All right. So she, she from France. Uh, I kind of like talk talk to her about anime and stuff like that. Talk about the ones that I watch. Again, I'm like a I'm like, I wouldn't say I usually go for like the, the popular ones, but I definitely have like ones I can name that are popular, in a sense. Because I'm just used to watching a lot of animes, especially back in my day when I used to just stroll on, uh, what are you guys like Hulu or Netflix. And then I just venture off to like these um pirated anime sites where they just post the anime just pirated and stuff. I venture off to that, but so we hitting everything off and stuff. She pretty much, cause you know me, all right. I like like I said before, I am an introvert. But when you get me started, all right. If you if I'm starting liking your your presence, your energy, and she had a nice energy, all right. Her in English wasn't the best, but she was trying, you know, and she was like, like every time she was like, I would talk to her like on the Snapchat, right? On, on fake, cause you used to just call on Snapchat. She would just be like, oh, sorry about my English. Sorry about my English. It's not the best I know. And it was okay. You know, it was okay. And with me, I like to make people laugh, right? Because you know, if you make a girl laugh, <laughs> the best thing in the world, all right? The best thing in the world. That's the secret, guys. If you ever want to know, just make a just make a girl laugh. You know, it is a, it's amazing things. All right, because I'm a goofy person, so I, I I enjoy making them laugh. Like I was like I used to be like with her, I would just be telling like jokes and stuff. I'd be like wee oui, wee, oui, you feel me? Just playing around with the French stuff, <laughs> and that stuff was just so hilarious. But again, let me talk about more of this situation. All right, so me and her, you know, we just hit it on and stuff. We talking now and then and stuff because remember I said she's from France and I'm from America. The time difference is crazy huge, right? Her, her daytime is like my nighttime, and my nighttime is like her. I'm not saying, and my daytime is like her nighttime, right? So it was just a big time difference. So it was sometimes hard to like talk to her because I get off work and she's already getting prepared for bed. So it was only like times where it was like the weekend where we would just hang out and really like chat. Because I'm off on weekdays, or I mean not weekdays, weekends. And I think about like a week, I think of like about a week of talking. I was like really feeling her vibes, and that's when she made this suggestion. Like it was like a weekend. She was like, "Yo, you know what we should do? She's like we should watch some anime together since we both like anime." And I'm like, "Wait, what?" She's like, "Yo, yeah, let's let's watch some anime together. You know, hang out, have some fun." And just like watch anime again. I'm like, okay, bet. And but then she was like, yo, but you know, I gotta choose. I gotta choose anime. I was like, okay, choose, choose, go ahead, choose away. And then she was like, she was like, do you got Netflix? I was like, yeah. So she was like, yo, so this is what we gonna do? We gonna watch both face Snapchat each other on like the video thing or call, and we both are going to be watching the same Netflix show at the same time. And I'm not going to lie. So it was like some sort of like anime watching date or something. And I'm, I'm not going to lie. That was kind of cute. It was kind of cute because it reminds me of those days. Like I remember my, my kick days, bro, where you'd be like, yo, fall asleep on the phone with me. Like it'd be like, it reminds me of those days, bro. And that stuff used to be so cute and so funny, bro. Like now that I think about it, I'm like, oh man, that stuff was crazy. And I just, man, it just reminded me of those cute moments. So because like we, again, we far away, he just made this whole anime watch date type of thing. But it's both like having like um, Netflix account. So when we call him, both um, having Netflix on and stuff, and she had recommended this anime. Now, before I made this video, I took some time, you know, you know, I researched my own stuff. 
because on Netflix you can look at the history of what you recently watched. And I couldn't think of the anime that we recently had watched together, but it was High Rise Invasion. If you want to look that up, High Rise Invasion. It was a pretty cool anime that we was watching. Like we watch, we was watching like a couple episodes every time it's a weekend and stuff we had time together with. Um, it was pretty fun because I had typed like it was like the first time I was like playing this. She I <laughs> I had put the I had it on dub and she was like, ew, you watch this on dub? Ew. And I was like dying laughing because yo, that's some elitist type stuff, bro. How you gonna just say like ew bro, I'm watching this on dub? Like what's wrong with dub? <laughs> nah, people hate dub. People hate dub. But yeah, I had switched to sub and stuff because of that um comment. <laughs> she really hurt my feelings. So um, so again, we just, every like weekend, we would just watch it a couple episodes, like an episode, at least a two. And I think like about like two weeks afterwards, we start, she started getting tired of the um, show, but she was, just, she would make jokes during the show. Like there would be some moments where cause the show had like females and stuff. And then it'd be like some random moments where, you know, they got to get they 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 male audience. So there'd be like some random moments where the female have like underwear shot shots in there, like just randomly pop up and she'd be like, she'd be like, oh, you better, you better not be looking. You better close your eyes I, or be like, oh, I know you was looking. You better have your eyes closed. And I'll be like, so <clears throat> and I'll be like, nah, nah, I didn't look. I ain't look But guys, you gotta, you gotta know me. All right. I've been, I've been talking like this, but I am saucy. All right. I am saucy. So this is what you got to do. All right. If you ever get in a moment like this, all right, you got to You got to sauce it up. You got to, like I said, guys, I'm like Shakespeare with the pen. So I, w I was like, yo, no, 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 I'm not doing, I'm not looking at, I'm not looking at any of that. Why would I look at that when I got you? All right. I got you to look at. So <laughs> she was like, oh, you feel me? You got to, you got to sauce things up. All right. You got to make, you, you don't, I don't care if you already, if you're in the comments saying this is corny, real really you lame, tuh, it works, brother. It works. Trust me, I'm a YouTuber. But so I'm I'm saucing everything up. And then again, she was tired of watching this anime show called High Rise Evasion. So she recommended a Japanese show. But this show was different as it was like real Japanese real people. I think it was a Japanese show, or could it be Korean? But it was called like Alice in Borderland. I believe it's like based on like in manga or anime. It was called Alice in Borderland, and she had us watch that together instead. And sometimes a little bit of High Rise Invasion if she ever gets tired of that show, or do both. And the uh, Alice in Borderland was actually really good. I really enjoyed it from when we was like watching. Like we watched a couple of episodes. It was like pretty interesting. Like it was a lot of like interesting like twists and stuff um, in this show. Uh, we did like a couple of episodes because all right and then it was like one like as, as we was just watching it was like one weekend like it was like two weeks out two or two or three like three weeks three weeks after all right we were just talking on the phone and then she was like she was all tired because again we'd have big tiring differences and she was like yo i gotta go and stuff she and then she was talking about like how her bad how bad her breathing be Cause you gotta use like a respirator or something like that. Um, and she would use take pictures in it and stuff. So it was like one of this one night, right? We on a phone, you know, we you know me cutesing and all up and stuff. And then she was like, yo, I gotta go. I gotta go. I'll talk to you tomorrow. I'll talk to you tomorrow. So we hang up on each other and stuff. I was like, okay, she gotta go use like usual, you know, like usual. And the next day, all right, I tr I tried to talk to. Her. I was like, I was like, hey, you good? I was like, hey, good morning, good morning, all that good stuff. No response. Wait a couple more hours. I was like, hey, are you okay? Like five hours after, like, I'm like, no response. So I'm like, okay, maybe she's busy, right? She's busy for the day. She she all good. Then the next day come, all right. I'm saying, hey. <clears throat> I'm saying like, uh, hey, good morning. 
are, are you sure you go sure you okay are you okay and then i look in a thing like it shows like on snapchat all right it was showing like um the messages i guess like the messages weren't delivered or something like that i don't know it's like gray out and it was like and then i click on like the profile of the snapchat it was like yo this person is not your friend i was like what and usually what that happens is that either a person blocks blocks you or you know somehow you know they unadded you or something crazy but it was like it wasn't going through so i'm like she just blocked me right out of nowhere like again it was just out of nowhere i'm just like i was just like sitting there confused like we were just having a good conversation the next day i mean that day after i mean that day day before and i'm just randomly getting blocked and i'm just thinking like yo did i did i say something did i do do anything wrong because you know sometimes with people you know you have we all have our little secrets sometimes you have our moments um where sometimes situations just happen right sometimes you know other people might come in your life and stuff and you might know might not think that they'll ever come back again and then they do and sometimes you have to like cut people off or you might get in some situation where maybe you can't have a conversation with people or you never know what could be the possibility again and i was just left like confused about like yo what just happened because i'm not gonna lie the only time i talked to this talk to her was like legit on snapchat just on snapchat that's the only time we talked was just on snapchat i didn't ask for a number or anything like that and it was because like i was just in a moment like we were just we were just having amazing times just talking on snapchat and it's just like yo we had like we had great connection and run day just randomly just went away i just got ghosted and i was just like dang because for me sometimes finding that girl who likes anime or like goofy all in one it's sometimes hard to find but it's there you know but you, it's not like impossible to find, but it's hard to find, right? Having that that one person you have a connection with, and at that moment, I was a little bit sad, but it, it was like okay because the thing with me is that I enjoyed the moments that we did have together. Because the moments we had to have, we had our laughs, we had our um, anime um, watch nights, date nights, I guess. And I really enjoyed those moments together. And even to this day, I still think about it because it was just an amazing experience. Like sometimes I enjoy the internet because like you could have just such amazing experience people from far away. Like people who can just connect crazy with. You can have so much good connection with, so much uh, uh no friendship with. All from online. They could be far away. They can be a state away. They can be a country away. And you could have a good moment with them and that's what i really did appreciate from that that person because it was very fun again it was very it was very fun and i, I really do did enjoy it but yeah that's me with my random story uh again it has some sad i think it had some sad moments in you know again you know right re sometimes relationships are depressing and stuff and I might leave this probably might be left off of like a cliffhanger. You might be actually like, yo, whatever happened to you, you and your ex, or did she ever or the French girl, did she ever talk to you again? You might be left with a cliffhanger. I'll let you guys decide on what you think happened afterwards, all right? I think it'll be a lot of fun to see. Especially to see the comments would be like, yo, Marley, you said like the word like like forty million times. That would be fun fun to see. But again, hope you guys enjoy. Might be a long video, but pretty fun story.